Hello everyone, this is Shiki Starcraft on behalf of GoodToGame.com, bringing you some show matches from the recent play day we had uh, for the Starcraft 2 Clan League. And yeah, we actually have uh, Team Liquid here up against, uh, I believe it was Team Unlike. Or Unlike, I don't know if they're Team Unlike or Unlike, but anyways, yeah, it was uh, part of the uh, qualifier matches or whatnot. So not really any of the big, big matches, but uh, those will be coming uh, later in the uh, series, of course. Anyways, uh, this is sponsored by Logitech, of course, so check out their product, keyboards, mice, uh, use their headsets. Actually, use all their product, keyboard, mice, and headset. Ha. Huh. Anyways, uh, getting into the game, we've got Liquid Nazgul spawning as the uh, red Protoss in the top left corner here. And it looks like he's starting with a uh, 9 pylon. Uh, going down here to the bottom right-hand corner, we've got Yelling, uh, part of Team Unlike. And he's also getting his ninth pylon, and his scout is actually going to be a little bit earlier. And it looks like he's going to go check out the Zelnaga Watchtower, make sure there's no uh, proxies in and, in and around this area. And then he's going to go ahead and, ooh, hey, he's actually scouting cross-spawn first. So he is going to find Nazgul's base lickety-split, and uh, he's going to get to see that their Chrono Boost is down on the Nexus. Uh, no, he may not have seen that. But anyways, he does see the 13 gateway coming up, and we've got Nazgul's probe going out to scout now as well. Uh, yep, yep, yep. So Team Nazgul and Team Unlike. This will be a uh, kind of an interesting series. What it'll be is a best of three series between these two players, and then a best of three series between another two and another two. So a possibly or a possibility of nine show matches for you, and then they will pick two players from each team and have a best of three two versus two. So yeah, very exciting uh, set of matches for you guys coming here. Uh, this was done, played on Sunday. I live casted them on the stream. The stream went flawless. You can check it out. Um, Livestream.com slash timestop007. Or uh, you can use, I think they were using my live stream as well. So Livestream.com slash G2G uh, Shiki SC. But anyways, uh, you can see more of those games Saturday and Sunday. And we will be also casting the GLHF Finals on Sunday as well, I believe. Hopefully I get to cast those. I can't wait to see White Raw versus Team or versus uh, TLO. Anyways, uh, Nazgul's here. His probe still has not found Yelling's base. And Yelling actually going for a standard opening. So not taking advantage of this early uh, lack of scouting. And going for a two-gate or any kind of push. He's just getting a Cyber Cory to get his first Zealot out, though. Only working off one gas, and he's actually, he had three probes queued up, and he, well, he did, and then he cancelled it, so it looks like he's going to build another pylon here. He almost became Psylocked, and he's getting another Zealot Chrono boosted out, as Nazgul's probe is just now finding him. Back in Nazgul's base, we are getting a Cybernetics Core up as well. We do have second gas coming up for him. Let's get the production tab going up, so he's going to be a little more uh, heavy on gas than... Um, then Yelling will be. Yelling getting his second gateway slightly before Nazgul, but the timings aren't too much or too far off. Uh, Warp Gate Tech already coming in for Yelling, though, so that's going to be quite a bit earlier as uh, Nazgul's Cybernetics Core is only about 80% done. And a third gateway coming up here now for Nazgul as well. Looking at the income, we see even across the board, except for gas, of course, Yelling's mineral income will be higher because his gas income is lower. And it looks like we just did uh, have Nazgul's probe get taken out. And we've got a little bit of an engagement here coming up. Uh, we've got three zealots of Nazgul's in here uh, trying to work away at uh, two of Yelling's. And one of Yelling's does get taken down and the other is definitely uh, in critical condition. And his shields just started the regen before he started getting hit again. So he is going to be uh, killed. Probe's coming off the line here for Yelling. Uh, there's a lot of early pressure coming up here and it looks like Nazgul is... Uh, definitely putting on uh, good pressure, of course. Uh, one of his probes, or sorry, uh, zealots did go down. Two more zealots coming out for yelling. And it looks like we don't have, uh, no, we've just got one stalker being reinforced uh, for Nazgul. Uh, researching warp gate tech as well, working off three gates compared to yelling's two. Just getting his second gas up now and getting a stargate. So if he can uh, get to an early Void Ray, he may be able to catch Nazgul off guard. Uh, Nazgul as well right now just with his army taking the right uh, Zelnaga Watchtower. As Yelling's probe had the left, so he did see this all incoming. Nazgul here now also uh, looks like he's going to be getting a forward pylon here behind the brush. 
So a good place to hide it. A lot of people try to put it up on uh, top of here or in this area, but it is directly in the cross path for the uh, traveling. So a lot of people do get it scouted out uh, smartly for... Uh, smartly, I don't even think that's a word. I am making up words. Anyways, uh, smart move here by Nazgul, putting it uh, kind of hidden. And we've got now three stalkers and two zealots. The zealots are, of course, wounded. Uh, they're almost completely dead, but they've got full shields back. And we've got, wow, three more stalkers coming in for Nazgul, so this could be trouble. We've got a phoenix coming uh, for yelling, but I don't think I agree with that. A uh, phoenix right now against a early ground push. Maybe he wasn't expecting this to come, but uh, it is definitely impending. Uh, he's got his two, ga two warp gates up and trying to get a third, and he looks like he's trying to push out. But at the same time, Nazgul's pushing in with his... A uh, healthy group of stalkers. He's got 10 here and two zealots. These stalkers will be able to do a hit and move on these zealots. He's got uh, one sentry here, but not enough energy for the uh, guardian shield. So maybe a force field we put down. I don't know. Uh, is this phoenix? Yes, the phoenix does lift up one stalker, taking it out of play. But uh, the star or this phoenix is very vulnerable to these stalkers, as he's only lost one so far, and Yelling's army is being taken out completely. Very good micro control by Nazgul in order to lose as little units as possible. I'm trying to warp in three zealots here, but unfortunately zealots are not the answer to these stalkers. In this, uh, in these numbers, the stalkers just absolutely destroy zealots. Look at that, almost two shotting, almost two shotting, and four more stalkers coming in. This is going to be it. Uh, there is no way Yelling can recover from this. Building an yet another phoenix. I really don't agree with that, but hey. Uh, he's the pro, I'm not. All the workers coming off the line now, lifting up one of the stalkers. Yelling stalkers trying to engage as well, but it's just not going to be enough. Probes are taking out a couple of the stalkers, but he's got more reinforcing. Additional four coming in to his already uh, 11, and Yelling does GG. So Nazgul in a PvP match here on Kulos Ravine does take game one. Game two will be up uh, right away.